Coming up on Up at Noon, 90s kids rejoice that Disney Afternoon gets new toys. Speaking of toys, this job of the hut is $800, and we're joined by Suda51 to talk about No More Heroes 3. All that and more right now on Up at Noon Live. Oh, hello, and welcome to Up at Noon, TV's number one show as voted by no one. I'm Brian Altano. This is Max Scoville. Up at Noon is our weekly comedy variety show here on IGN. Yes. Yes, it is. You want to go from there? You want me to do a little bit of that? Okay. Well, first of all, you said we're a TV show. We're not a TV show, man. It was a lot of... the future. We're on so many things. We're on IGN. There's a lot of lies at the top of the show. We're on Twitch. We're on Roku. We're on Apple TV. We're on Xbox and PS4, Facebook, Wazoo, and Zoinks. Also... You always get mad at me for saying we're not live this week. We're not live this Why week. Why do you tell we're, them we're, that? We, Why we, don't we, tell Because it's a lie. It's a but lie they, in the but headline. They, they're it's watching fake. it. They don't know. Well, they, they'll probably be like, "Help! Help! I'm in the chat. Help me!" I mean, it's a live thing, and we can't read it because we're. Do you out. know what? Nothing on TV is live. Everything we're is having on a five Harvey second satellite delay. Down at the old, the old pub. There's a huge delay because Ryan Seacrest burps and farts. He does burp and fart. That's All true. And the, and the FCC won't let him have it. He's yeah. uh, anyway. Uh, Far capital country. What are you talking about? Anyway, we got a fun show this week. In spite of not being live. Apologies for not being live. We'll be back to a normal live show next week and yeah. we can read your mean comments that you're writing to us at this very moment. Um, we have a very special guest this week. We have Suda51. You may know him from uh, Killer7, No More Heroes. Uh, he's got a new game on the way. It's called Travis Strikes Again, which is uh, the character from uh, No More Heroes. Mm-hmm. And uh, Should we just throw it out? Should we just have him check it out? Yeah, watch it because it's awesome. Let's Here's the interview. Check Let's it look. out. Hey, what's up? It's Brian and Max from Up at Noon and today we're joined with Legendary game designer, Suda51. Legendary translator, <laughs> Alan Costa. Hi. Uh, hi. Thank you guys so much for coming. You've done our show before. It's always oh, good to see you guys again. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, it's GDC right now, and that's the Game Developers Conference. You probably don't know what that means. You guys know what that means. You're game, de- you're game developer. It's your job. It's your job. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, Of course. <laughs> so we could have gotten anybody here, but I we wanted to get you because you're one of my favorite people to talk to. Um, oh, thank you so much! Wow. Of course, and also you're working on a brand new game, which is Travis Strikes yeah, yeah. Again: No yes. More Heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you and I got to play together yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which so. we were really good at. We kicked ass. <laughs> So I just really wanted to get you here yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to tell everyone how yeah, awesome yeah. you and me were yesterday when we played that game together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We beat it together, he says, yeah. right? So yeah, thanks yeah, for yeah, watching, yeah. everyone. You suck and we rule. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <laughs> you are... Uh, you've been working on this game for uh, pro- uh, over a year now, a year or two now, right? A little over a year. A little over a year. Maybe not even a year. Yeah. And so the the big angle about this game, um, it's very specifically not No More Heroes 3. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of a, a, a vehicle for you to create a bunch of smaller, more bite-sized games and to bring Travis Touchdown, your famous character, into いろいろ作って出てます。そうですね。まさにそうですね。まあ、まあ、インディーズスタイルでもあり、まあ、うちのえっと、まあ、スタジオの、まあ、コンパクトなチームで作ってますので、あの、たくさんのチームで作るんでは
the, their, their desks are all close to each other. Oh, cool. And so he can see what's going on, and if he wants to you know, adjust something or go talk to somebody about something, it's very easy to do. Whereas when you have a, a huge team, it's meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. So being able to really connect with the team on that close level again is something he's really enjoying working on with us. So you get to spend more time just actually making the game. The meeting they want to come, game is good to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about this. Exactly. Yeah. It's awesome. No, this is this is your first time making a game for for Switch properly, right? Yeah, first time Switch game. Yes, yes. And what's I gotta know? What's your favorite part about developing for Switch? Because you know the, the you know No More Heroes famously had the the Wiimote stuff going on, and, and some of that's still around. Oh, yeah. But uh, are you? Is there anything about the Switch that really grabs you as a developer to, to have fun with creatively? あの、あの、ま、ジョイコンでいろんな遊び方ができるので、ま、そこは多分一番の魅力ですし、ま、今回はその、ツービー対戦、ま、あの、昨日ブランドシアソンなんですけども、ジョイコンのこの小さいやつ
Come on, man. <laughs> I know you're busy. Put Travis touchdown in the game. <laughs> That's what I love about Smash Brothers. Everybody's always asking for characters for it, but this is one that actually makes Smash sense. Brothers, He'd be a good fit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 ね、なるほど。ディズニーでもディシーですね。いや、まあ、アミーボもね、でもできればディズニーしたいなと思ってます。アミーボビリコートウィンのキャラクターのリアリティアズワル。ですね。ドークソウズアミーボナウ。そう
これもなんか聞いたことある気がしますけど。<笑><笑>まあそういうゲーム、そういうスター・ウォーズを作りたいから。It's like, play the fire to make a Star Wars and play and up something like that. Got it, yeah, yeah. I love it where you come on the show and we're like, pitch us a game. Give us the idea for a game right now. Go! Like, it's just... Yeah, it's almost like a little money. He's like, like yeah, just yeah, like yeah, Mario, yeah, right? So, 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 so. He, remember, he remembers yeah. the Mario from yeah. last time. Yeah. I think this time you brought, you brought one homework assignment to two classes. <笑>同じなんか宿題宿題,あ宿題だなるほどね持ってきたんですね同じあのなるほどそういうことか同じ宿題をただただねまあみんなに喜んでほしいのはそのねあの赤いジャケットを着た主人公とコンビを組むのはやっぱあのジャージャービンクスなんですよね<笑>じゃあついジャージャービンクスを着てるっていうコンビとなってこの子コンビとなって、no. the, the cool part about this game is that the cool guy in the red jacket Is going to partner up with Jar Jar Binks. Partner up with Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, yeah. Partner up with Jar Jar Binks.、Okay. That historically <laughs> doesn't work out. But. <laughs> so he's bringing back Jar Jar too. He's bringing back Jar Jar too. Everyone, the beloved Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would like to see your take on Jar Jar Binks. I'd like to see what you do with Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make, how do you make Jar Jar cool? How do you make Jar Jar cool? Oh, yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. As he is. Cool. Is that loud, loud, I don't know if we can swear, but loud. No, you can. <laughs> <Okay> . <laughs> That's fine. I feel like you would make him like, really into sex. I feel like you would make him really into sex. I feel like you would make him really into sex. I feel like you would make him really into sex. I feel like you would make him really into sex. That was,、uh, I think that was part of George Lucas' original vision. Yeah, George Lucas' original vision. Yeah, yeah. Big horny frog. So, what do you do? I feel like you would make him really into sex. I feel like you would make him really into sex. Exactly. So, it's like he sees a chick and just wants to like. Yeah, 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 hit it.、Mm-hmm. That's his style. That's, that's Jar Jar, man. That's what he's... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Max, I'm not even sure what I'm saying. See, this is, this is called workshopping. This is what we did right here. We just made a Star Wars game with horny Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Obi Wan's lightsaber killing everybody. <laughs> All right. That is perfect.、Um, man. Uh, anything else you'd like to say about Travis Strikes Again before we, we let you go? Yeah, I'm serious. 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 I'm s e r i o So, so, this time, obviously, the build was for GDC specifically,、mm-hmm. um, media focused, where、yeah. I got to play yesterday.、Uh, yeah. But in two weeks,、uh, we'll be at PAX East,、um, probably at the Nintendo booth. So, if you want to drop by, check out the build there. All right.、Um, it would be awesome. Yeah. So, if you're in the area, Sweet. Bring your Jar Jar Binks fan art. I know. Jar Jar Binks fan art. Just don't stick with that. That's horrible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,、yeah. I'm Brian S. Max. That's a suit of 5-1 and Alan.、Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I, I didn't know where it was going to go, but I'm glad it went where it went. For all things video games and Up at Noon and Star Wars and Jar Jar and all the rest of those wonderful people, keep watching IGN. <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. And we're back. That was,、uh, that was very fun. It's always cool to have him kind of come by. I, I, I love that、out. he's just like our, our Japanese game dev friend that just comes in and we just ask him stupid things like, you know, how would you make a Mario game? And do you think Jar Jar has a lot of sex? <laughs> do you think Jar Jar's horny enough? Yeah, or should he be more is, horny? This is great. This、oh, yeah. is, a good, is a good place to be.、Um, yeah, so this week's a little bit weird because of GDC happening. That, of course, is the big kind of game developers conference. And it's, you know, there's a bunch of random stuff happening around IGN. People kind of swing by and, and do interviews and stuff like that. And that's,、uh, that's why we're not live this week. But、um, anyway, without further ado,、uh, one thing that I love. Love that you're very,、uh, you're very kind of removed from is Dragon Ball. I'm a Remo- big fan of that. Removed is a good word. Yeah, you're not, it's not your jam. You know, you never got into it. So you were very confused when I was explaining to you、uh, this new kid Goku figure.、Yeah. Um, this, is from, uh, this is from Bandai, from、uh, Tamashi Nation's SH Fig Arts. It's, one of the, it's a toy line that has like five names, and I'm sh- not sure which one is, comes first.、Uh, but in any case, this is of course based on Goku in his appearance from the early Dragon Ball, very beginning. He's got his little tail and everything.、Uh, and it's.、Uh, I, kind of, I pre ordered this a while ago. It's about, it's about 50 bucks.、Um, a company called Bluefin is importing these、uh, stateside, and it's part of a big series of existing kind of Dragon Ball Z figures.、Uh, this one is like, I'm really, I'm really crazy about it. That looks, that looks, I don't like that at all. I love Dragon Ball. I don't like that one bit. 
It's so hard to collect all of the Dragon Balls. What happens if you get all the Dragon Balls, Brian? You go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, you don't. No, you you get a wish granted. Um, well, but anyway, maybe that's your wish. Maybe you're, frequently <laughs> people are trying to get out of hell, but uh, <laughs> you go to hell with all the Dragon Balls. Um, but no, so this figure is awesome. Uh, this toy line is like, I think figure arts are seriously my favorite action figures right now. So if you're looking to get like a really good uh, Goku figure, uh, they make a bunch of them. They make adult Goku as well. Yeah, um, it's, it's hard to explain that like 52 bucks seems expensive for an action figure, but like you get tons of cool stuff with it. You get stands, you get yeah. uh, swappable hands and faces and so uh, accessories got, and a cloud. He's got alternate faces here. He's got like the angry one, um, and he's got like his kind of happy one, and he's also got his like totally giddy like you know emoji face or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got all these different hands. Um, so the whole thing is early on in, in in Dragon Ball, Goku's whole thing is his. He does like a fighting style that's based on like rock paper scissors. Right. So he's got his like he's got little fists and he's got little palms uh, and he's got little like you know scissor scissor hands. I like um, the, I like this as the the peace sign. That's a good. And one. he's also got his uh, his his grandfather's four star Dragon Ball, which is like a key thing from the the series. Um, four, where is that? Is that like the Yelp reviews? Yeah, it was, it was really, it was, the service wasn't great at that Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, they're also making a, a figure of, of Shenron, the big, the big dragon that comes with the rest of them, so you can, you know, set him up. Um, I just love that he comes with, he comes with his flying cloud, um, and you can put them on these like these crazy stands. All the figures come with these little clear stands, uh, but normally there's just like one of them, and in this case they were like, well he's got to be able to do all kinds of stuff, like jump around in the sky. I, um, I love that they, they could have just put his cloud on the floor, but they're like, no, we should elevate it. No, this is, I mean, that's why this is seriously like my favorite toy line right now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you're, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, uh, check this one out. Uh, they're also doing later this year a Master Roshi that comes with, uh, like, it comes with alternate, like, pervy eyes, where they're like, his eyes are like popping out of his sunglasses, like he's looking at a butt or something. And Max, you got this from Amazon? Uh, this was on Big Bad Toy Store, actually. Cool. It's available a bunch of places. Um, we've had Bluefin send us stuff before in the past. They're, they're the company that's importing uh, a lot of stuff that Bandai's putting out in Japan. And they're doing some, there's some good stuff. There's, he comes with both versions of his stick. It's like a long one and a short one. So if you're, you know, if you like to get a nice toy and then and pose it and put it on your desk or you know maybe secretly make it like kiss other toys, you can do that. And that's that's a thing. So as a Star Wars fan, this scares me because it just looks like he'd be holding like a lightsaber. Yeah. And just melt his hands. No, it's off. A, it's a magic stick. Uh, so that's awesome. I love it. But more up my alley. Uh, what if I had eight hundred dollars to spend on a dead bloated frog drug dealer that has a small rat chimpanzee that lives on his bed. Well, I have good news for you, Brian. If you've got $800 to spend on a big bloated frog drug dealer that spends all day on a bed with a rat, well, <laughs> Sideshow Collectibles is putting out a 1-6 scale Jabba the Hutt to go in line with their, their big fancy doll series. Uh, and this Look is just, at this! This is excess. So that in the corner. I want this so badly. In the corner, that's an apple. That's like a, not like some kind of miniaturized apple. That's supposed to be a regular apple. This thing is like two and a half feet long. Oh my um, god! It's just unnecessary. Yeah. It's just it, like it's an. Affront. I thought that was an egg that he laid. Um, what I love about this though is that this is. I mean, these are you know people are always like they're not they're not dolls they're action figures. In one six collecting, you're erring on the side of dolls. Like they've got cloth, they've got soft goods clothes, they've got this one comes with a bunch of bunch of pillows. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a weird sick doll. Yeah. Um, well, this is basically. I mean, his pillows are to help his abscesses. It probably or it's, or he's to, a sick to, man. I don't know to muffle women that he's murdering in a But pit so he has a, different what faces or heads. He's got that you yeah. Can pop so I love out. this. He's got not one the not sleeping two. one. He's got a bunch of different combinations of eyes. Uh, if you want, I think I got uh, information here about this. He, he comes with, uh, I believe, three sets of eyes, mm -hmm. two mouths, and then he's also got he's an got alternate two sets mouth of arms with the disgusting tongue sticking out. Yeah. Can you go back to those faces? This looks like this looks like a meme. Yeah, or, or something like that. It looks like he's he's going through like a weird life cycle of a fart. This looks like yeah, before and after eye surgery or something. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think you can mix and match the eyes. So you can make him look like he's just you know winking or something. Or having a stroke. Yeah, the stroke. The bottom one is definitely a stroke. Oh face. god, that's awful. I think he needs to see a doctor. That is one of the worst really, things I've ever seen. Just for a lot of reasons. Um, but yeah, like SpongeBob the Hut. So you know, as you get older and, and things start falling apart in your life, it's you know, it's it's reasonable to consider you know serious collecting. Look at uh, this. Look at this tongue. Just I don't please. even know what you do. Yeah, look, look at the tongue it's, is oh, awful. Oh, it's going in your he's ear. Got his, he's got his like ah. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> he's got his uh, his his big like honey drizzled mouth there. Oh my God. Um, here's a look at everything he comes with. Uh, those are poops. Those are those are not poops. Those are his chins. <laughs> It, this guy has more chins than the proverbial Chinese phone book. You this can't is, say that. You can't That's say fine. that. You can't. No, you can't. It's a. It's a. It's a thing. You can't go on the number one TV show in the world. It's not. That. This isn't the number one TV show in the world. Anyway, hold on. Uh, he comes with his frog that he eats, right? 
He does come with the frog. He Everybody with, loves he that. Comes, it's a Klaatuinian patty frog. He comes with not one, but two of them. One of them is stuck in that little jar there on the side. Mm-hmm. And the his other one, bong. he can put in his hand. No, no, he's got a bong and he's got a, an aquarium that he eats out of. Oh, the serving bowl. <laughs> sick, sick man. Uh, uh, so I have the Bib Fortuna in this scale. Yeah, so now you pretty much have so to get this. So I kind of have to do this. Here's the thing, though. I don't have the room for this. Here's No, so here's a good solution for this. I've seen this people people doing this with that with that like $3,000 Millennium Falcon. How yeah. much is that thing? Is it really? How, how, it's the it's like the 7,000 piece one. Anyway, people are buying. Oh, the Lego one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Same price. Is, yeah, same price. So yeah. if you got to pick something huge and expensive to, to spend money on, you don't know where to put it. Uh, people are getting clear glass coffee tables mm-hmm. and then putting them on top of this. So it's like, it's kind of basically putting under glass, which is Work, it kind of works. It's sick. You look like, actually look like a crazy person. No, it's a really good idea, and I can actually put a couple hundred dollars down by selling my wedding band and giving up on my yeah, marriage. Yeah, I mean, you're not using that. By moving that into my home. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's take a look at some of the other stuff here. I like this because we talk about furniture. As you progress through these images, they look more and more like uh, they look like a furniture catalog. Like This looks like you're looking at some kind of... Uh, I don't know, disgusting orthopedic Pier 1 imports. You know what we never saw? We never saw the film, uh, the footage of him getting up on this thing. No, I don't think he like really did much sl- of that. really also, sludging up. Just they, like, oh. they, they strive for accuracy here, but this thing would just be covered with disgusting stains. Yeah. Like, this would be way more stained. So maybe you got to go buy, like, I don't know, like a just some, a nice uh, vat of broth at, like, Trader Joe's and hey, just drizzle that all over this. I just thought of something. What? Where does he poop? He just goes. Do you think he poops into the rancor hole? Have you ever picked up a frog? He does not poop in the rancor hole. I, <laughs> I think, think he, he just goes. I think he pees right off the ledge into the wan- He moves the, the, the bed I back. I think that is incredibly generous of you to think that he can pee over the ledge. He does <laughs> not, he just goes and it just, it happens. And <laughs> then Salacious Crumb goes, he pees, <laughs> he pees down and it falls into the rancor hole. That's why when you see the rancor, he's wet. That's why he's all riled up. And brown. Okay, well, I don't know why they let us do this show. But I do want to point out the pillows, the craftsmanship on these pillows is really just something that's really quite remarkable. Yeah, that sounds like, like a, the, it looks like a good, good thing for a 12,000 pound frog to yeah. p- fart on. Clearly he uh, he flattened some of the pillows. But what does he have, no, so just this, a small this, calf? This, is that, that, are those pitted olives? No, it, they just say one plate of food. They don't actually <laughs> establish what it is. Oh, but it doesn't this, say what it is? This comes with a hookah, a plate of food, a Klaatuinian patty frog. It comes with two rugs. Those are like the saddest rugs I've ever seen. It comes with a total of nine pillows. Nine pillows for an action figure. I'm sorry, at that point it's a doll. Look at all the different pillows. All these different Let me point pillows. out something too. If you remove the large dead frog man from this thing, this is a wonderful charcuterie board if you have women over and, le- and men. Yeah, if you have women over and you want them to leave as <laughs> fast as humanly possible. What I like to do is I like to cut up some small sorts of cabbages and rutabagas and such and lay them all dainty like right on top of this fart bed. I like to put out a, a smattering of fava beans and <laughs> some just raw kimchi. Not even cut up into pieces, just big, big chunks. <laughs> of cabbage, just let it ferment so it sizzles a bit. I take about a half a cup of creme cheese and just <laughs> dump it right over the top. <laughs> Look at Salacious Crumb. Why are you putting my head right in front of his nuts? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, a la- he's ladylike, man. I don't there know. There we go. So Salacious Crumb is articulated. He comes with <laughs> his mouth. Two open. heads. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So okay. Yeah, um, and he's, he's got he's got two different kinds of legs. He's got relaxed legs and crossed legs. I think they're interchangeable, so you can have him doing some kind of weird Pilates next to his big frog friend. I really want him. Uh, I yeah. want all these things. But yeah, this is just a disaster of a toy. I love it. Uh, I don't think I can rightfully justify eight hundred dollars. But I keep doing this thing with with really expensive toys where I'm like, I'm gonna get one, and I'm just gonna call it a day. And this is one of those ones where I'm like, should this be the one? It's horrible, and my, my fiancé will call it quits, but, uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. What an awful little beast yeah. he is. So God, I love that's, that. Uh, that's out this fall. If you didn't pick up on it, it's $795. They won't even tell you how much it weighs. They probably shows up in, like, a pallet truck. It's just, it's a, it's a disaster. You guys know, you know what else is out this fall? Christmas. No, no, it isn't. And we need a nice gift. No, that happens in the winter time. I want a charcuterie board that has a frog on it. So, uh, high-end action figures are, are very well and good, but we have a terrible show here uh, at Up at Noon. It's a very bad show. Uh, it's it's really it's it, in a lot of ways it's kind of a knockoff of uh, of other better shows. Uh, but <laughs> our producer's just laughing over there. Uh, but uh, speaking of knockoffs. A lot of people out there like to collect Lego, and it's important when you're collecting Lego to not accidentally buy illegal fake Lego put there by crooks. Uh, we've acquired some uh, illegitimate Lego that we'd like to show you so you can carefully identify it, and you'll know that it's, uh, you know, it's not real Lego. 
Uh, and there's a couple, a couple uh, signs that you can, you can look for that will help you stay informed to make sure that you don't buy the wrong bad Lego from criminals by mistake. Yeah, we and, love uh, superheroes here at IGN, and we love Lego, and it's awesome to see them all come together. Our good friend at IGN, Winston Schuen, uh, brought over some of the Legos that he got from his friend, and something is a bit awry. Yeah. Now, here's, there's a couple things, Brian. <laughs> when you look at these, what immediately jumps out to you uh, about these figures that maybe that doesn't like, for instance, like, what, is there anything weird about the Incredible Hulk here? I think like one. Is of there the, anything that he's doing that is sort of out of character? Well, um, he looks angry, which is good, and I know he has he has a super powerful strength. And one of the things I, I never really thought that the Hulk might need specifically, or Spider Man, is uh, the gun. What about uh, the 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 Superman? He's always known that that's his that's his tagline though is that he. Shoots a speeding bullet, right? Yes, he shoots a speeding yeah, bullet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and then and Hulk's the... was, "Don't get me angry, because I have a gun." Right, right. And Spider-Man's is, "Hey, it's me, Peter Parker, the amazing Spider-Man with a gun." Yeah, no, he shoots webs out of not a, a gun. That's right. Here we are. Uh, no, so but seriously, these are. Uh, the, I, I gotta say, as as knockoffs go, these aren't half bad. Like yeah. I, have, I have some of the sets that have these actually in them, and they're like you know they're they're terrible, but they're not that bad. They could be way worse. Uh, they have a hollow back legs, which are different from regular Lego, and also they have uh, they have funny toes. And they have a stand that says uh, World Minifigures, collect them all. Yes. S world minifigures. Yeah, so uh, a key a key way to tell whether or not you're buying Lego toys is if they say Lego on them, they might be Lego, and if they say S world, whatever that means, they are not Lego. Yeah. So that is your that is your that is your PSA on how to not buy fake Lego from criminals on the internet, and Superman should not have a gun. We do a significant amount of talking on this show about why you shouldn't acquire illegal toys that we have <laughs> like... bought ourselves. <laughs> Well, listen up, kids. Uh, you, this is. Let me tell you why you shouldn't have beers. Now, mm -hmm. me and your me and your mom are going to have a couple beers each while we tell you the story. But it's important you never do. Are you happy that we have these these strange little men? I'm here now? a little bit irked that they're not worse. But I do think the Hulk with his sniper rifle is especially funny. Yeah, I think that's really good. I th it's funny. I would. D does Wolverine ever use a gun with his claws out at the same time? Because that would look dumb as hell. That would look. They, they did that on the cover of one of the Ultimate X Men. There was really? a whole thing where he's in like special ops, and they're like, let's give the Weapon X a gun. And they were like, we just put swords in his hands. Why did you? Why does he need a gun? That's There's like cool. nothing I could really ask about comics that hasn't been done already. Like I could be like, oh, did, you, did they ever put Captain America in a wheelchair? And I'd be like, yeah. Yo, what if like Jubilee was a single mom and also a vampire? And like, they no. did that? Yeah. <laughs> I never. That sounds like word salad. I never would have guessed that. She might not be a single mom, but she is a vampire. I think she's a single mom. Anyway. So uh, when it comes to toy collecting, obviously we're huge, huge fans. We try to get everything that we love, and uh, we're pretty brand agnostic when it comes to a lot of those things. But to be completely frank with you, I'm not the biggest fan of Funko Pop bobbleheads or pops themselves. That said, there are some very talented people at Funko making some really cool stuff. What's your, what's your problem with Funko? Like what Funko Pops? Very specifically, I don't like the, the base style of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so any direction you take them in from there, um, it's, it's not something that, it's, it's sort of like right, if, I, right. if, if you don't like, like EDM, yeah, you know? and someone's like, I have a really good, like here's a new EDM album. But I'm I don't like, like to dance. Or I'm like, but I don't like the sound do. of that. Yeah. yeah, no, in the case of Funko, I think, I think you're onto something there. Some people love the sort of the, the, the BDIs and other people don't. It really bugs me personally when they'll get the license for something that is that has like a very iconic look to it and they'll shoehorn that look into their look. And I'm mm -hmm. like, why didn't you just make toys that look like the actual thing is supposed to look? And it's one thing if it's like, I don't know, if it's Hannibal or whatever, and it's like you're not gonna make a super accurate Mads Mikkelsen, so they made like a cutesy Funko Pop. But if it's something like, I don't know, a cartoon character, right. you could have made that, they just they just didn't because it fits their style guide. Yeah. But yeah. they've been making more and more kind of toys lately that actually are sort of on model, which yep. I really appreciate. And, and, got some and of so them here. you and I grew up uh, watching Disney Afternoon, one of the most just incredible, that with SNCC and TGIF were three of the best uh, blocks of TV that you could possibly watch as a kid. And they are making, over at Funko, they are making Disney Afternoon action figures yeah. now. And they're these awesome. Are, these they are, are out in stores now. Uh, yeah, I I've got this entire set for 50 bucks okay. on Amazon. So 10 bucks is pop. Yeah, you know, I've seen these at Target. I've seen them at GameStop. Um, they are, they're all over the place. Um, 
Dude, I, I got into Darkwing Duck, that was before Batman the Animated Series was out. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like the closest thing to a proper superhero show that was on, on TV at the time. So I remember being like super stoked on, on Darkwing Duck. Yeah. And this is a really good figure of him. So specifically, these three characters right here mean the world to me. I love Baloo, but uh, to talk about these real quick, Scrooge McDuck, obviously from DuckTales, and then Chip and Dale from Chip and Dale and Rescue Rangers, were not only one of my favorite cartoons on TV, but also um, two of my favorite video games for NES. Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers for NES was like my favorite co-op game to play with my brother growing up. Just fantastic, sort of like, it was almost like New Super Mario Brothers, in that mm -hmm. like two people could play at the same time, hurt each other, but also help each other. And then DuckTales is just a phenomenal, just a weird yeah. platforming game. Yeah, I mean, game. DuckTales is a remarkably good game, even, yeah. even today, holds up really well. And so these are really great. Scrooge McDuck has his little money bag, he's got his cane, he's got little glasses and stuff like that. Yeah, I some... wish they were like a little bit more articulate. They're, they I, think they're, I think they're pretty good, honestly, to have like cut joint elbows and, and ball joint shoulders. Is like Yeah, they're, they're a little tight to move around. Yeah, I mean, you can make I, him I do him a lot. iconic Scrooge McDuck things like, Try to hurt people with his cane. He can now that we fly. now that we have a blue, I really want a uh, a launch pad and a kit and a whole Dude, bunch I of want, other characters. I want Gizmo Tales Duck. Man. I want and, and yes. there's there is a new Ducktales show that's happening right now. So I'm, I wonder if they're going to do stuff based mm -hmm. on that or what. Um, I, I realize this is this is funny. We host this stupid show together. One of us is always wearing leather jackets. The other one's always wearing Hawaiian shirts. One of us is uh, considerably goofier than the other one. It's almost like we're sort of these odd rescue rangers. I agree. Yeah, I don't wear fedoras, but... You should. Yeah, I think they'd look cool on you. I think, you. I think you'd look so introduce. cool... What do you guys think? If you had fedoras. Sound off in the comments below. Should yeah. I wear a fedora? Oh, you all said no? I agree, thanks. I think you should. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Darkwing Duck is fantastic. This is just a really cool toy. It's, a, it's actually a weird action figure because you can't see his face mostly. You know, he's mostly just in the shadows, which is kind of on brand for him, and I really dig that. Is it, um, so this is awesome. This is just a start, hopefully, for what these guys are doing. Again, like, Funko Pops... The actual pops, the pop vinyls, I don't really like. But they have so much room for, for growth. They do so many cool other different action figures in different scales. And I think this is like the, a massive, wonderful step in a, a great direction for them. So I hope they keep doing stuff yeah. like this. And these are something like what, like 10 bucks a pop? Yeah, they're like the 9 standard, or 10 bucks a yeah, pop. Yeah, standard action figure prices. Mm -hmm. So they're out there. Um, yeah. I really love, you know what I want? I want a money tower for him. Just to go swimming around it. Just a big, just a big golden tower. Yeah, you just get like, get like a, a jar of pennies. Like get... Put like your spare change. They'll be huge. They're too You're an big adult man. Put the spare they're, change they're in the jar. For him. We need small ones. We you need shrunken coins. That's a good thing to spend money on is smaller versions of coins. Mm -hmm. That's a good use of your of your income. It's weird to to go on the number one show on TV and say those. Stop. You can't. You keep saying coins. that we're the number one show on TV. We're not. When you woke up this morning, did you think that your friend was going to say shrunken coins? You did. I hear all kinds of awful things come out of your mouth on a regular basis. <laughs> regular uh, Chip and Dale. Uh, so yeah, those are available right now. I got them on Amazon. You can actually get just the whole box set for 50 bucks, and they'll send you all of them at once. There's a zipper in there, too. He's great. Um, yeah, where's Monterey Jack, man? Monterey Jack? No one likes Monterey Jack. I like Monterey Jack. Oh, he's awful. He's a very upsetting character. Really? Yeah, he's too upsetting. He's, he's, too, a, he's, he's a, too... He goes too wild for cheese. He gets really crazy about it, and that's just too much. I think it does get borderline sex with him with the cheese stuff. He does get yeah, he's like a he's got like a, a substance problem with it. It's also weird that it that's he's named after the thing that it he It took loves. me a, it was very odd. I spent most of my life not knowing that Monterey Jack was a kind of cheese. I just thought it was a Rescue Rangers yeah. character and then the second someone's like, "Oh, this burger's got Monterey Jack." And I was like, "Would you kill a mouse wearing a trench coat?" These Isn't that strange weird? people. It's like if my name was like Pizza Vodka Soda Kombucha or something stupid like that, which is great. This, you know, we're that's like something like Gwyneth right? Paltrow would name her kids. Yeah. What uh, else we got? Okay, so you picked these up. I was very confused when I saw them. These were actually the sent to us. Oh, they're sent to us. Yeah, okay. they're sent to us by a uh, fan, Mark Pingator, who uh, has been making art for a very long time, and I think works for Garbage Pail Kids. If you grew up in the '80s and '90s, you might remember Garbage Pail Kids, the stickers, and also the awful movie. Let's not talk about the film. But the cards themselves were really, really cool. They were based on Cabbage Patch dolls, which were a huge, huge thing back then. Uh, which were wonderful little dolls for girls that apparently were grown in a cabbage patch. That was the weird narrative behind it. Yeah, that's very upsetting. I never I never fully grasped what Garbage Pail Kids were. I think I understood at a glance that they were parodies of Cabbage Patch Kids, but I don't think I fully understood as being a little bit younger than you. I didn't understand how popular Cabbage Patch Kids were, and yeah. I didn't understand how um, they could make a movie based on a parody of dolls. So parody was and is a, you know, a fascinating, wonderful way to skew things that you love and uh, make fun of them in, in a sort of Nice so this way. is this is like three layers deep of parody because these yeah. are now garbage pail kids versions of Nintendo characters that are making 
fun of Cabbage Patch Kids. Kind of a long walk yeah. there. But uh, let's so take a look at these. The short, the short answer is these are Garbage Pail, Garbage Pail Kid answer, uh, sort of remixes of Nintendo characters. <laughs> look at it. He's grabbing a log. So um, the cool thing about these is, as you can see, they're all stickers. And the die-cut stickers are shaped like NES cartridges. You see yeah, that? I got that little lip there. Yeah. That's so nice. these are really cool. Um, there's nothing on the card backs. But uh, I think they're just a really cool sticker set. You can buy these online at magicmarkerart.storeenvy.com. Oh no, and Kirby! They are just horrible. Like I love that we can actually show these off because the the art is fantastic. And I love Nintendo, and I grew up with gar with Garbage Pail Kids, so this is really cool. And in typical Garbage Pail Kids fashion, uh, the art there's actually two of each one for each character, and they have different names. So there's Garbage Manny, who's That's, like that one's like I love how sometimes the names they just don't even care. They're like, Crappy Dave, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Garbage Manny, okay. Booger Brenda. Yeah. Yeah, these are just horrid. Duck this Hunter, is... that's, that's, the, that's the name of the game. Like, I, that's funny. I love it. And that's, that's totally on brand with, yeah, with, with yeah. source material. So, and so this, is, this is the Duck Hunt dog that's been shot up. They all have this, like, that these fat cherubic faces that I love so much. Donnie Kong, Interesting. which is, I think, sort of Trumpian. I can't tell yeah. if I say that word. I don't know. Uh, and then we have Guild Ed, because he's gold. Get it? But keep going because all the names get remixed now. So now we have Punched Punch Out okay. Scout. Plum Earl. <laughs> Plum Earl. That's weird. Look at all that. I still lightness. really just love the the, the poopy. He's oh, just, it says it's septic because very... he's really rutting around in that poop down well, there. Well, to establish that it is a sewer and that he does do that. Metroid. Mellow Marshall. That's weird. Get it? Like Marshmallow? Sounds like a Logan Lucky sequel. Yep. Castle... Castle... What? Yeah. Okay. Like Castlevania. I get it. Rockman. What? Oh, Rockman. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but bro what's Brock? Okay. I don't know. Retrieve and stab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I am a, a foolish simpleton for falling for that. There's DK. Yeah. All right. And Luxurious yeah. Link. So, so these are awesome. Once again, uh, magicmarkerart.storeenvy.com. Not Carl. Don't go to dot .carl. That's not a real thing. Uh, and these are created by Mark Pingator. So thank you so much, Mark, for sending these over to us. Um, I don't know if like they're legal or whatever. What's going on with that? They're yeah, who cares? This parody. But this is what we do. We, this, is, this is like you know, yeah, bootleg, we talk about bootleg toys. Show, so this show's getting weird. Yeah. Uh, How much time do we have left? Who cares? Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Twenty five. Twenty-three minutes, minutes left. We don't have enough show for minutes. that. No, we totally don't. Yeah, there's not enough in here. I could like go to the bathroom for a while. Yeah. I don't know. We could, I don't know. We could just hang. I out. thought this. Was we could always be... wrap things up. You know. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be the whole. Did we? Have yeah. To oh, uh, I actually there was something I did want to talk about. Okay. Yeah, let's talk. My dead sick pet. Yeah. Ermin. Ermin. Yeah, yeah, he's been ill. Any I. Yeah, this has been. Uh, and look at him. This has been tough, and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> how, did you, how did you write that that fast? I don't want to talk about this. This, this is not, it's not funny, man. It's really not. Like, so, um, so we've known Ermin for a long time now, and, uh, Ermin and I met on the movie set, uh, for Dungle 2, which was, uh, it was sort of like a, a cheap puzzle He was, he was in it. Um, and what happened was um, it, Ermin developed degenerative frames disease, which is where a small animal will slowly grow a frame around his head and then yeah. get his soul trapped it's in It's sort forever. of akin to how cats will crawl up in the ceiling and die and See, make your they, house smell bad. They're actually diagnosed yeah. with there right now. So it's, in, it's in our, the name of frames disorder, yeah. really just a shout out to Ermin. Yeah. So I want, uh, if you're watching at home and you want to you wanna do something to cherish the good times of Ermin. Uh, remember, get your get, get your pet to open their mouths and just do a small. Yeah. Just do a small. But be really, really careful that do you don't accidentally gentle. put a handful of spare change in their mouth. Just a small joke. Because it's very bad for the animals to, if you put coins in their mouth. Twenty-two minutes. They don't want to do that. Twenty-two minutes. So Ermin, rest in peace. We'll love you forever. Yeah. Um, also, get better. From, yeah. From death. And remember, Dungle 2 is available on VHS everywhere on the particle blanket outside of the burrito place in the worst town near that's, your house. That's not good. That's whoa, 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 whoa. That's horrible. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> well, that killed some time. Are you, are, you, are you guys not talking about the, the vinyl? We I left it. the vinyl on my desk. Yes, it's out oh, there. It. No, so don't worry right. about it. We could do, we could do it next week, yeah. though. I want to talk about something. Can you open up your laptop real quick? Well, you're, you're, you're making it also, right? 
Oh yeah, we forgot the. Image. You want me to open yeah. up the, the laptop? I, I honestly thought this was gonna be uh, yeah. What job of the hut? No, I wanna I wanna look something up real quick um, because uh, you and I saw a show at a restaurant a little while back that I wanted to give a shout out to because I think they're like the ultimate dimension versions of us. Uh, Google intentional talk. This is an MLB uh, an MLB network show, so Major League Baseball, um, where my brother works. So this is amazing. So go go to Google Images. Intentional Talk is a, to a weekly, or I think, or daily, I'm not sure their, their capacity, but it is a talk show about baseball starring two men uh, who kind of look like us, and they cover their desk in toys just like we do, and instead of doing Up at Noon every single week, they, they, they talk about toys. Wow, these guys... No, they talk about baseball, so hold on. Wait, There's... so that means we're, it's okay that we're doing this? Yeah. Cause, like, it's okay that we just, you know... Yeah, there it is. Have the show? Yeah, did you pull up, a, pull up a picture? I have the image here. That's not the best one. This is a good one. I don't one know here. what the best one is. This one? <laughs> yeah. These guys? This is baseball up at noon. Intentional talk. Look at that. Weird. They so got shout out to those guys. And stuff. This is amazing. What, is, love... what is Bartolo colon? <laughs> it's, it's a disease. <laughs> Bar... <My thing. laughs> the baseball man? <laughs> Who is back there? Who is writing those? <laughs> Shout out to Intentional Talk, uh, the baseball version of Up yeah. Noon, or we are the nerd version of their show. I don't know what it is, but that's awesome. I, I think it's just it's just cool to see other adult men are comfortable enough to put toys all over the desk like we, we do. Yeah, we need validation. Yeah, we do. So if you guys ever want to have us on your show, we love baseball. Yeah. I'll, I'll rank the bases. I'll be honest with you. The best one, number one base, second one. Why is that? Because you can hide directly behind the pitcher? I think you know why that is. I get it. Well, anyway, <laughs> up at noon, we do this every week, and some weeks, we do it more than others. I think we thought it was going to be, there was going to be more. Yeah, we, we a, thought we had a lot of show. There's, yeah, there's Google Images again. It's us. I'm on the show. Oh, I get it. Hey, uh, as a weekly correspondent here on Intentional Talk, I'd like to tell you, I love baseball, but I have a big problem with them. It's the stitching. I think they should cover the whole ball with it, and not just some parts. I think it's about time baseball's got a nice redesign. Yeah, why don't they? Why, what if they're all one color? I agree. What's make a good color for the baseball? <laughs> Tennis balls are yellow. What's your web browser with all your tabs? Yeah, I don't know, man. When I'm looking at Hollywood Report, I don't have anything bad here, right? All right. I guess yeah. we should stop. We don't have any questions. I guess we, yeah, we'll just stop. It's not like we're filming it. It's like it's like free. It's digital. <laughs> what do you mean it's free? We don't have to like send it to a lab and get it developed. You know, That's it's true. not like we're like burning through like Kodachrome or something. Hey, let's talk. I don't know. There's something else we can do an unboxing of. Oh yeah, your nightmare arm. My tattoos. Let's talk about your tattoos. Yeah, I got a bunch of tattoos. I love that we're like, what do we should? What should we talk about? Let's talk about your arm. Um, yeah. So uh, I've had these stupid tattoos for a while. Uh, I have. I have a shark that is a rocket, and this mm -hmm. cowboy slug dinosaur, and I got this one at Star Wars Celebration a couple years ago. And I've been gradually trying to, well, very gradually, trying to turn this into like a sleeve, kind of to actually fill it out. Uh, so I got a bunch more done this last weekend, and it's kind of hard to see, mm -hmm. but there's a R2 that's a garbage can, because I like that, and there's a pizza bug fairy thing in some peppers, and I got a Gundam. Uh, how do I, what's a good angle? There we go, kind of. It's hard. It's tricky. Everything's reversed. There we go. The candy cane is, is the candy a cane seasonal one. is deceptive because it is also a snake. I try to combine two things I enjoy, which are Christmas time and the reptiles. And also never seeing a snake. Yeah. I that's feel a like squid bear getting a, Yeah, that's a squid bear. That was, that's, a, that's an old story from back when I hosted the Destructoid show a million years ago. We figured out that any time there was news about Skyrim, we had to talk about it. We always had to talk about Skyrim because it's the biggest game in the world. It always did really well. Uh, and so we found this, co this concept art of a bear that was hanging out behind some some like tree branches or like a mammoth carcass or something. And I sort of impulsively was like, it's a squid bear. Squid bears are in Skyrim. And people were like, no, dude, it's like standing behind something. It's not tentacles. It's just part of a tree. And oh. I was like, so squid bear became like a thing. You know, we're actually, we're talking about bears. I have a different bear tattoo also. Mm. There's another one. Where is he? Show me. There we go. It's the bear with the fanny pack and he's visiting the soda. So yeah, those are my tattoos. I'm going to get them all colored in and, you know, all done up and, uh, you know, then I'm going to jump in the comments and see all those people being like, those are bad. And I'm like, I don't care. That's fine. They're my, it's, my, it's my arm. That's not know, a cool tattoo. I have a snake that starts on my forehead and ends on my feet. Yeah. That's what a cool tattoo is. And I don't know. I, like, my I don't back know. is covered in wolves. Yeah. And tar. I have a, a photorealistic tattoo of myself on my back so that no one can sneak up on me. My ass cheeks are two trucks kissing. 
We'll just put that there. Yeah? Um, there it is. All right. Number one TV show. Should we wrap, should we wrap it up? That's I think we're it. supposed to go make a baseball video or something. Hell yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's up at noon. I'm Brian. That's Max. Thank you, Suda51 and Alan, for coming through. And uh, wish we had kept you longer because then we wouldn't have dawdled at the end there. But you liked it. I know Somebody I got a kick out of this probably. I hope. Shout out to Intentional Talk. A baseball show with toys in the desk. That is yeah. so cool. We shout out to Google too. Images, the best way of looking up pictures of baseball shows that you've never seen. Yeah. Shout out to baseballs, really. Yeah. Just the, the object is good. The queen of sports, they call it. <laughs> <laughs> what is Why that? would they call it the queen of sports? <laughs> it's like a boat. You gotta, it's, it's a woman. You think they got, he got married to the king of beers? I think so. Hell I think yeah. the king of beers, the queen of sports, are a match made in heaven. And I, I don't know much about sports. The prince of alcohol. <laughs> That's the up prince of summer pastimes. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know just what's, what's... Really anything. Anything you want. Yeah. Just tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Or morning. Or breakfast. Or really, lunch. Do whatever. It's whatever. It's fine. Look at the thumb. Can you do, do it? The, it's can you cool. do dog? Do a, do a, do like a, a nice dapple gray. Yeah, do the... That's a gun. You gotta do two hands. That's not a dog. Have you never seen a dog? Oh my god. That's, okay, all right, all right. Thanks for watching the show. You get that dog out of here. We can really end it anytime. It keeps going. I don't know why. Thanks. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Oh, crap. Is it over? We did a transition, but I think we're I think it's, what are we, what is this episode? I think, I think, I think. think we're done. We're done. I think they're gone. (laughs) Kevin! That's how you kiss? Becky! <laughs> what are you I don't know doing? your name! <laughs> That's Kevin Becky? Kevin Becky. That's Six my... degrees of Kevin Becky? Look, this is my small, hairy girlfriend. What, do they lower the lights a tiny bit? What are we... We're gonna go see Shrek 4. And make out. <laughs> the guys from Intentional Talk are never gonna do this show now. We, bl- we blew it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Why does it look like they just shut off the lights and left us here? <laughs> Why does it look like you put a bullet in the Apple logo? Ooh. I'm going to go drink these fake beers on the wall. Are we t- We're going to get you out of there, guys. I promise. Anytime. They're stuck inside. You guys How okay? do we get through there? Is everything all right? We just poking around back in the set? I don't even know what these animals are up here. I guess they're dragons. Dude, we look like we're in witness protection. Yeah, ever since I found out my neighbor was eating people, I decided to join him. Because, you know, I love to eat a good leg. Go over to his house and have nice salted barbecue and eat legs. I like that we got spooky lights over here. Dude, they're showing your face. They're snitching on you. We're in witness protection. Yeah, I saw a crime. This is a crime of passion. It was a man making out with a wampa. They put these wheels on our chairs. It's great. <laughs> we can roll around. It's really cool. It's actually, it's pretty, it's pretty great. It's like a, like a couch you can bring anywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.